well, nothing like Terminator, but it is man versus machine, and that is how one Valley man describes his problem with an ATM. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez is live in the studio to explain this deposit debacle. If a person makes a deposit but doesn't get a receipt, how would it be proved? That's a question one Valley man tried to answer after nearly losing thousands of dollars. David Lopez works long hours. Making ATM deposits is a normal chore. On April 22nd, it became anything but normal. $25 in cash. Lopez tells us he needed to make sure enough money would be available in his account for a withdrawal scheduled for the next day. We'll say, put the cash in. Then it closes, and then it kind of like there's like a little process, and nothing. They just told me to pull my card out. And I go, this is, this is weird, right? Instead of displaying the balance and printing the receipt, the machine just spit out his card. Lopez didn't leave. He checked his account. The money was missing. He says he did what anyone would do if their money was taken. It's kind of weird, but I'm going to follow charges against the machine because it's not a human being. The next day, Lopez filed a formal dispute with the bank. After talking with his bank, Lopez said they would allow the withdrawal to happen. Lopez said the bank checked for his $2,500 in the ATM and couldn't find it. During the wait, his account was active and growing. Now the NSF charges come in, and they've been coming in. He was up to $3,000 this week. At this point, Hernandez and even the police recommended a laborious last resort, small claims court. But you got to go pay a fee while they're filing. You got to go spend money to do it. We called the bank to find out why or how this happened. During the time we got in touch with them and the time they responded, Lopez's account was credited. The bank sent us a statement today. BBVA Compass has resolved the issue in question and believes a customer is pleased with the resolution. BBVA Compass values its relationships with its clients and is always willing to address any additional concerns they may have. Lopez switched banks after the incident. He also changed his depositing habit. I don't want to be sarcastic, but when I'm going to make a deposit at an ATM, I actually get the money out bill by bill, so, so, it's some, so they, then I put it in. His own insurance against going through this again. We spoke with financial advisor Luis Hernandez about Lopez's situation. He says he doesn't believe Lopez's credit score will be affected. Hernandez adds banks aware of pending resolutions won't report it to credit agencies. If it was impacted, Hernandez says Lopez will have the proof he'll need to explain the error to crediting agencies. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.